Hey Taurus, welcome back to Sophia Monet Tarot. It's your girl Sophia Monet. I'm coming back to do your weekly readings, and this is for Taurus. Ooh, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, and Jupiter. Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Taurus, Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, what's going on with Tauruses? What do they need to hear and know for this week? Messages, okay, for Taurus. Ooh, Knight of Swords. Someone wants to rush in and say something. Okay, with that Knight of Swords energy popping out, energy of a younger air sign. What do we have? Yeah, Nine of Cups. Someone desires something. Mm, a personal wish, a personal desire. Okay, Harfont. They could be desiring you. The Harfont is your major arcana, Taurus. Okay, so it's like someone wants to rush in. They're a bit eager. <laughs> eager to talk. Yeah. Eager to say something, eight of wands could want to travel to come see you. Someone is eager. I feel their energy. They could be a bit impatient right now. They really want to rush in. They really want to say something to you, communicate, see you. Okay, why is the Knight of Swords here? Let's get right into it for Taurus. Two of Cups. Yeah, they're feeling it. Three of Swords. They miss you. Ace of Swords. They're thinking about how they can tell you this. They miss you. They could want to apologize for the heartbreak or the, the upset. Someone still sees you as their two of cups, okay? Their favorite person, their best friend, two, the um, ace of swords. Ace of swords is here. This person wants to communicate this to you. They're feeling sad about this. Um, wanting to come in and I feel correct something. Tell me about that three of swords. Yeah, justice. Libra is here with the six of wands. And the will of fortune, they want to make something right, righting their wrongs with you, okay? With the justice card, bringing you justice, giving you what you deserve, the long-awaited text message, phone call, the long-awaited meetup. It's like someone comes in very victoriously. They're very confident that they can, um, you know, talk to you and work things out and possibly talk about moving things forward with you in the future, Okay, that's what they want to communicate to you. What's the nine of cups, please, for Taurus? Ace of cups. We have another ace. King of swords. Yeah, knight of cups. This person knows what they want now. They're coming in more decisive with the ace of cups energy. They are hoping to start something fresh, anew with you with that ace of cups energy. Okay, king of swords. They're going to try their best to keep their composure. Uh -huh, but this person, Knight of Cups, is very excited. Could be a younger water sign or an air sign for some of you. Someone is very excited. And I feel like they may not want to overwhelm you. So they're going to try to hide this part. Like they really, really <laughs> want to, you know, just express their emotion to you. They feel overwhelmed with emotion, but they're going to try to hide it. This person may even want to break down, like in a good way, like they may want to break down crying or it's like tears of joy. Um, it's like they're, I feel this person is like overwhelmed with emotion, but they're going to try their best to hide it from you. When they sit down and talk to you, this person, it's like they can't wait to ask you out or they can't wait to come and offer you a cup. Like this person is feeling very anxious to me. They're feeling very anxious, could be a bit nervous, okay? But more so anxious, I feel. Why is the harf on here for Taurus, please? Yeah, Queen of Swords, yeah, Four of Cups, Knight of Pentacles. They are very aware that you may, you know, still have your guards up because uh, they did something foolish or they hurt you in some type of way. So this person does acknowledge that. Yeah, they're seeing you, Taurus, as very guarded, as the Queen of Swords, um, they are very aware that you are not um, the most open or loving right now. <laughs> um, they are preparing themselves to possibly be rejected by you, Four of Cups. That's why they're going to move a bit slow, even though they're feeling all of this like excited energy and they feel anxious. They're going to move slow and they're willing to go at the pace that you would like them to go. Someone is going to approach very cautiously, even though they're bubbling on the inside with all of this excitement, you know, good news and all of this. <laughs> they realize that this may not be good news for you. You may still be thinking about the pain. So how is Taurus feeling toward this person at this time for this week? Okay. The sun card. Okay. How is Taurus feeling? Uh, something flipped. Yes, something flipped. Okay, you're guarding your own happiness. You're guarding your happiness, okay? 
uh, you may not, this is similar to Capricorn's reading. You may not want to um, deal with the BS <laughs> for some of you, okay? You're upset with this person. You do have your guards up, okay? How is Taurus feeling? How is Taurus feeling about this person, this situation? Okay, the tower. Some of you are dealing with a Scorpio or a Leo. Their energies are here. Um, okay, so <laughs> you may shock this person. You may shock them by how you feel, okay? What do we have? Yeah, and leave them out in the cold. Yeah, you may break up with this person and tell them, you know what? I'm protecting my own happiness. This is for some of you, okay? I'm protecting my own happiness. The sun is the happiest card and the seven of wands. So it's like being very guarded and protective over your own peace of mind, happiness. And it's like, you know what? I really don't want to get back together. Five of cups or five of pentacles rather, <laughs> you know, I'm not going to come back to this situation. You know, I wish you the best. You know, I hope you find what you need, but uh, for me, it's a no, okay? So that's for some of you. What about, uh, who? okay, the cards just want to flip out. Yeah, this person wants to say something. Let me show you what flipped out was the king of cups could be dealing with the water sign. Cancer is coming through strong as well, or uh, Pisces or Scorpio. The moon flipped out in reverse with the king of cups. Someone wants to reveal their emotions to you. Yeah, after they've been sneaking away, you know, after they d maybe have done something deceptive, maybe they just kept communication from you, never talked to you. Maybe they ghosted with the hermit. Yeah, because they were scared, could have been scared of commitment with the eight of swords. Yeah, they have a lot of regrets about the past. Yeah, and they want to start this back up with you. They're hoping to move toward you, talk to you, come visit you. They want to reveal their secrets to you, wanting to come out of that place of keeping their emotions all to themselves, keeping their emotions in the dark. This person wants to come to the light, okay? They want to reveal something to you. Yeah, for Tauruses that want to get back with this person, how are Tauruses feeling that want to get back with this person? Queen of Cups, yeah. So you feel like this is your person. King and Queen of Cups, okay? So you, some of you who want to get back with this person, you'll be very happy to hear from them. You'll be happy that this person is finally revealing their emotions to you. Scorpio's energy is still here. There's a, ch a chance for transformation. You're hoping that this person has really transformed, yeah, when they come back in. So you are also approaching them with caution, hoping that things um, have changed with this person, with the full energy. Yeah, you're hoping to take a leap of faith, but you're being very protective of yourself um, still, even if you are happy to hear this person is coming back in, look at that two of swords reverse to hear that they've made a decision would make you very happy. Tell me about that queen of cups because you're coming out as, yeah, as the empress, look at that. You're very in tuned with this person. You may feel a spiritual connection with this person. You may feel like this person is your spouse or could be a potential spouse for those of you wanting to get back. Tell me about the ones that are breaking up with, with this person who's coming back. Tell me about the tower with the five of pentacles because I do see a breakup. Yeah, the star card. Okay, okay, the star. Before I say what I want to say, why is the star here? Yeah, hermit reversed. Yeah, okay, so when this person comes back, you may initially be very upset. You may have a fight with this person. You may ghost them. You may not want to talk to them. You may even block their number, something like that. For those of you who are, who are still upset with this person, but I do see a chance for healing later on down the, the road. Okay. Healing with the star in hermit reverse coming out of hermit mode. Uh, wanting to talk to this person, maybe when things have blown over or things have calmed down. But I see this week, some of you are going to block this person or you don't want to hear from them. Just plain simple. Even if you don't block them, you don't want to hear from them. Others of you, you would be happy to hear from them and you're ready to see if this person has really changed. Okay. What is this person's intentions toward uh, Taurus? <laughs> what is this person's intentions? Eight of Pentacles reversed. Okay. Money could have been an issue for some of them. Yeah, Two of Pentacles. Yeah, money could have been an issue. Okay. So their intentions are to possibly work on their money. 
um, wanting to establish something that's more stable, maybe wanting to offer you something more than what they could. Yeah, they're working on being a king of pentacles. Look, we have the eight of pentacles reversed, two of pentacles, now the king. This person is working on being more stable. Um, they could be in between jobs. Somebody could have lost a job. This person intends to make themselves better, either financially or even spiritually, to come back, okay? Yeah, full reverse. See, they're saying all the things that they were dealing with. This person could have lost a job. They're telling you, man, my money is funny. My change is strange. You know, I'm in between jobs right now full reverse. I was scared to take a leap of faith. It's like they're coming back to confess these things. That's their intentions. They're trying to build wealth. Ace of pentacles. Yes. They're watching, spying. Someone could be looking for a new job right now as well. Researching. Um, someone could be trying to find out how to invest their money in something. Maybe they're watching a home, looking at a home. They could be in the process of like a bidding war or something like that. Someone is researching something, okay? How do they feel about Taurus? Seven of Swords, yeah. They know they have to confess something. Seven of Swords, how do they feel about Taurus? Yeah, they're obsessing over what happened in the past, okay? Yeah, they don't want to be a player no more. That There we go. That King of Wands is in, or King of Wands, Knight of Wands, rather, is in reverse, it just fell out in reverse with the strength card. This person is really trying to overcome their toxic ways. They know that they were toxic. It's a bit difficult for this person to put aside toxic behavior or their toxic ways, but they're trying. They're working on themselves. And this is what I'm saying. This person, they intend to come back and confess a lot. Like, I was not ready to take a leap of faith. Full in reverse. I'm in between jobs. Some of them could be saying, I lost money. Or I lost my job, lost my apartment, something like that. Uh, someone could be living with family members or something like that if they've lost a job. Okay, they're not able to afford their own place to live in just yet. So be you know be aware of that. Someone could be coming to confess. You know, Taurus, like <laughs> I am really working on these toxic traits of mine. You know, I don't want to be in player mode. Knight of Wands is in reverse. My player card. This is difficult, but I'm trying. I'm working on these toxic tendencies of ghosting, seven of swords, not speaking, lying about stuff, you know, lying about my whereabouts, things like that. Okay, this person could have in the past kept a lot of secrets. Okay, for some of you. Anything else Taurus would need to know about this person or situation? Wow. Yeah, trying to figure out how to come toward you. <laughs> Also, I feel like um, with the two of wands energy, see, queen of pentacles is you. Two of wands, it's like you have to make a decision. Which route are you going to go? <laughs> I feel like spirit is saying the choice is yours. It's up to you. Of course, that's what you need to know. Are you going to move toward with this uh, toward this person with the chariot energy at the bottom of the deck? Or are you going to move away from them? Are you moving toward them or away from them? Something to think about. Okay, let's go to the Kipper deck. Any insight you can give me on this person or this situation for Taurus? What does Taurus need to know in this situation with this person? What does Taurus need to know in this situation with this person this week? Okay, one flew out. Okay, what was that? Official person. Okay, somebody could be wanting to make things official in this year, the year 2022. See that 22 at the top? Someone could be wanting to make something official this year uh, with you, wanting to put, you know, a title on what the two of you have, you know, actually claiming a status for the two of you. What else? What else for Taurus, please? Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit. What's going on with Taurus? Let's pull. Yeah, imprisonment. Someone could be feeling trapped in a situation. Okay, it'll be different for all of you. Someone could be feeling trapped or... Um, actually facing jail time, okay? Someone could have came out of jail recently, okay? Take it as it resonates. Give me one more for Taurus. What else do we have? Mature woman. Some of you are very mature and they see you as a mature person, okay? 
So this person is looking at you, mature woman, mature man, it doesn't matter, the gender. But someone is looking at you as someone who's very mature. Maybe you're very wise or, you know, you have your shit together. Maybe you own a company or your own business. They see you as someone who's very stable, grounded, okay? You are an earth sign, so you do come off with that energy. Look, at the bottom of the deck, someone is looking for marriage or wanting to marry, marry you or bring this together in marriage um, or possibly to heal a marriage if you're already married to this person. Right behind it, message of concern. Yes, yeah, someone wants to say something to you. I felt that at the very beginning, someone is very eager. What's the advice, please, for Taurus? Advice for Taurus this week? Advice for Taurus this week. Whoa, everything wants to flip over, but something flipped out. Success. Yeah, I feel like if you put in, you know, your emotions and this person puts in their emotions, there's an opportunity to really have a true pair here with King and Queen of Cups coming out of darkness into the light and being open, emotional, and vulnerable with one another and getting a chance to really see how this person feels for you, for some of you, for the first time. This person has held so much back and that's why the advice is saying communicate clearly at the bottom of the deck. Look at that. Wow. Okay, let's come over to this deck. This is kind of like soulmates and separation, my own version. <laughs> So let's see, what does this person want to tell you? What was going on with this person while they've been in hermit mode or in keeping Taurus in the dark? What has been going on with this person? What does Taurus need to hear and know? I'm in love with you, okay? Emphasis on you. So this person has really been feeling the feels for you as far as their emotions, their heart, okay? Let's pull another one. I am currently married to someone, okay? So that could be for some of you. You could be married to this person, okay? So they, they could just be confirming, I'm married to you. I want to work this out. I want to stay married, okay? For others of you, you could have been dealing with someone who was in a third-party situation, okay? And possibly going through a separation of some sort. Let's pull out one more. Don't run away. Stay close, so this person definitely wants to come back. They're hoping that you come back. They're hoping that you don't stay away for too long. This person could be in therapy. Someone could be um, seeking a therapist for their mental health. This person is really, I said from the beginning, working on themselves, trying to better themselves to come back in a more stable way, okay? Let's see. Anything else? Okay. One flew out. I want to make love. Okay. Someone wants to make love. They feel it with you. What else we got? We had a few that came out. Someone is saying they own a car, has transportation. This could mean they want to drive to see you. Someone could want to drive to see you. Maybe you're close enough where they can do that. They like your funny personality. You make this person laugh. They could be watching you on social media. I don't want to lose you. Yeah, <laughs> there it goes again. This person doesn't want to lose you. Trust issues. Will you hurt me? Okay, this person. So now they're afraid that you're going to reject them because they know your guard is up. So now they're afraid. Okay, the tables have turned and someone is saying, I'm mourning. Okay, this could be the death of y'all's relationship. This could be the death of a marriage that they're trying to come out of uh to get free from that someone is crying or hurting this person is really realizing what they've done and they realize that they hurt you and you could have been like a best friend to them or someone that they saw that they could really trust in or confide in and they mess things up and so they're coming back Taurus to apologize whether you want them or not they're coming back but it'll be up to you Alrighty, Taurus, don't forget to like this video. Give me a thumbs up. Also, share this video and subscribe to my channel, Sophia Monetero. I look forward to hearing from you. I will see you guys in your next reading. Take care. Bye.